What's going on, everybody? This is Charlie Eugene, man, back with another video. Today's video is a quick video. One of my good friends sold me a uh, MacBook Air. This is a 2015 MacBook Air i5, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 SSD. And he sold it to me at a really good price, so I decided to buy it from him just so I could do this little solid-state drive upgrade. All right, so this is the 11-inch model. I've already taken out the screws, so you guys don't have to uh, suffer from me just looking at me uh, unscrew the screws. It's held in place with 10 screws. All the screws along the outer edge, except for the ones in the middle here, top middle, excuse me, these are a little bit longer. That's all you have to remember. These are a little bit longer. All the rest around here are all the same size. So very easy to remember that. Just these two top ones are a little bit longer. Like I said, I already took them out, so you guys won't have to watch me do that. Let's uh, get to the uh, upgrading of the solid state drive. All right, pull this off. Always wipe it down, which I've already did. Get yourself a microfiber cloth, wipe this down. You see dust all in these areas here. You wanna clean that out. Clean that off, dust it out. Get it, get it nice and clean. Also, grab yourself an air duster can. These are a must have when you open up laptops and desktops. Make sure you attack the thermal, uh, the processor fan, excuse me. You wanna clean all that dust out of there. If you see dust in there, get it out of there. If you see dust all in these grooves and cracks, get it all out of there. I did a good job of cleaning this. This thing's in really good shape. But yeah, always get your duster can, clean up, uh, clean your machines out. Keep the air flowing really good inside of your system. Anyway, as you can see, the solid state drive is right in front of you. When you open this thing up, it's right here. You can't miss it. Very easy to spot and very easy to change out. I don't, for up for solid state drive upgrades, I don't disconnect my battery. I'll be honest with you guys. It's very easy to detach it. You can just put your nails in here, get your guitar pick, get a spludger tool uh, to, to lift this off the teeth. I'll do it in the video, but I really, I'll be honest with you guys. I really don't do it. This is just for the video purposes, so you guys don't. Say, why didn't you disconnect the battery? Very easy to pull that out, disconnect it. This is held in place with one screw. So it, it's it's uh, one of these pentalope screws as well. So like I said, get yourself a set. You could use a flathead to get these screws out, a precision flathead, and the ones that's actually holding the back cover on. But I'd be very careful doing that because you could strip the screws. These, these screws strip very fast and easy. All right, so just get the right size. Just get you a set. They're only $7 for a pentalope set on eBay or Amazon. Very cheap. Let's get you a set. Get your little cup or somewhere safe to place your screws. And this thing, all you have to do is lift up a little bit and slide it to the right, and it comes right out. Very easy to get this out. Now, as you can see, this is proprietary um, SSD. These teeth right here, this is not M.2. This is something that Apple... Uh, this is only, this is Apple design. This isn't, I, I've never seen this in any other system except for Apple. So look, if you look at these teeth, they're very different than the M.2's teeth. And let me actually, let me pull out the M.2 so I can show you the difference. Set this on top of here. Let me pull it out. And show you guys the difference for the, uh, con or the part, I call it the teeth of the uh, drive. So if you look at the teeth of the drive, right? See that? I hope I'm, I hope it's clear on camera. I'll find out once I finish recording. But yeah, so this is Apple's drive and this is the M.2. These are the ones you can grab at Best Buy, Micro Center. You know, these are everywhere and they're very cheap nowadays. So we're gonna, so that's the, the point of this video is to turn this drive into this drive, if that makes any sense. But you need an adapter to do that, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys here. So let me put these uh, drives down for a second. And this adapter here is what you're gonna need. It's called a MacBook M.2 NVMe uh, upgrade adapter. And this company is MicroConnectors. I've used them before in the past, and these they work really well. There's another company called Syntec that you can use as well that I've seen online and a few other uh, companies that make these uh, adapters. But also, please, let me pull this little thing out, give me one second. Please look at the back of the packaging or on the website. 
these adapters are very picky about which SSDs will work. So look in the back of the package and make sure that you get one of the drives that's on the list. If you buy a drive, uh, just buy any drive, it might not work. So don't don't take the chance. Just get one that's on the um, on the back of the package. I decided to go with the Samsung 970. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me make sure you guys can see. I'll put a list of these uh, drives in the description so you can see which ones work. But I got the 970 Evo Plus here. And here's the actual uh, actual adapter. Let me make sure you guys can see this as well. A little small piece. They also have another model I'm going to show you guys too. I'll put, I'll put that one up on the screen right now so you can see that one. Very small device which converts it into the Apple format that works with these MacBooks. So all you do is just grab your uh, M.2 and match up the teeth with the grooves on the actual adapter. It's in there, bam. Make sure it's in there and you're, and you're done. You've converted, you've turned your M.2 into the Apple drive. All right, very easy. Kind of, you know, this kind of puts brings some life back into your MacBook Air, especially if you have one with uh, only 128 gigs like like this one. Match it into the motherboard slot. Should make a, sn a snappy noise. There you go. Hear that noise? That's how you know it's in there firm. And there you go. It's pretty very easy little project you guys can do to get these MacBook Airs back on the map. And like I said, these MacBook Airs are almost 10 years old, but they're still decent machines, especially if you get the i7 model with eight gigs. If I had that model, I'd put a terabyte in there. But for this model and these specs, 11 inch, uh, four gigs of soldered RAM, i5 processor, nah, it's not worthy of a terabyte for me. But if this is all you got, put the terabyte in there. Reconnect your battery. Is it that is you're done so now what you have to do obviously is flip it over powered on hold your option uh option button along with the r key and boot into your internet recovery mode once you get in there you're going to do your disk utility if you don't see your drive show up this utility is going to let you know if your drive works or not so if you don't see your drive under all devices in your disk utility then then you bought the wrong drive Okay, so if you don't see it and then you want to do your uh, Mac Extended Journal or your uh, Apple, what is it, APFS, I think the operating systems now convert your uh, drive to APFS anyway. So you can just do the Mac Extended Journal format and that's pretty much it. So that's it, guys. I don't want to hold you guys too long, but very easy to get these things upgraded. I just want to put this out there. I'm not going to put the screws on. Let me flip it over. This machine it still looks decent, man. I mean, it's decent. Only thing that makes these look outdated is the fact that, you know, look at your bezel. You got this thick bezel, right? So that does make it look a little older. And the screen resolution isn't the greatest, right? These, these aren't retina. But I will say, I will say that these keyboards during this time are the best, some of the best keyboards. I love the way this keyboard feels. You know, and of course, your I.O., you're not getting USB-C, but you can always get an adapter to get that to work. And that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to do the um, formatting of the drive because it's, you know, there's plenty of people out there online doing those videos to, to, to get these uh, formatted. But that's pretty much it, man. If you got any questions, any comments, feel free to ask me. Uh, please click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. If I can do it, you can do it too. Charlie Eugene. Later.